method we are doing here is on static we all know statics that have to do with something that are not moving transitionally and also not moving rotationally so let's read the poem a uniform a uniform ladder okay of a length l and the mass m rest against a smooth vertical wall so they're implying that here there is no friction that's why they told us about this smooth and also the coefficient of a static they give us static because one thing not to move we can statics so i said so between the ladder and the flow we only have friction here it's given by this value find the minimum angle that will make us a ladder not to sleep okay so likely in this problem they did through us our, our free body diagram that we have here but i'm just going to go over explain it so the letter is here lying on the wall forming a triangle like this obviously because it has contact with the with the wall here so we're expecting that it should have normal normal flow okay because it, it's it's keeping it from sleeping this way we should have some force opposing that going the other way let me just call that force static okay and also because it is attached here with the uh, with the flow we're expecting that there should be another this is not a flow i mean wall this should be normal with the wall so when we're working with statics there are two main are important statement we know that sum of all forces along y this should be zero we also know that uh sum of forces along x they should be zero too we also know that um let me just move this so it'll have more room we also know that sum of moments around any point let me just choose this point zero should be zero again this O not zero so at any point of your choice that you choose on the structure so all your moments should be zero forces they should be zero sum of everything should be zero and that thing will consider not moving at all static so let's work on the problem now let's look at the forces along y how many forces we have along y we have this and also we have something i forgot about um gee they did remind us here on our on the free body with mg so from this we know that normal from the floor is exactly equals to mg okay because they are the only forces along the y so for this thing to be static they need to be equal okay and uh, let's come back here sum of forces along x we have this normal from the wall they call p and we also have static friction so for this thing to be static again this needs to be equal to this so i can just say p is equal to um, force static okay and we have another interesting part here sum of moments i think that's where we do the lot of maths not exactly a lot of maths but some some basic things okay so let's take the moments about point a okay we're taking a moment about this point so let's look at the force p we know moment or torque let me just say called torque is equal to the force cross the lever arm right, let me just call it x so that's what we will be doing here okay force is p the lever arm perpendicular to the force is is this one so we can notice versus the angle it is sine it is opposite making it to be sine right so we're going to have sine theta right okay let's look at another force is mg let's look at another force mg okay force mg let me just clear everything force mg is here right but because this is a uniform uh they did say this is a uniform ladder so our center of mass should be on the centers 
okay so we expecting if this length is l we expecting this to be just l over 2 so we want something opposite okay okay let me look at it again mm, yeah okay so I, I i confused something here so we're looking at taking about here we take moments about here this force and if i put this force perpendicular it will be somewhere here because i want it, i want the arm that is perpendicular okay so this is going to be an adjacent so adjacent we go with cos okay one thing that i didn't do was uh direction okay anything anti clockwise for me is is positive so this one was positive and this one now has to be negative the force is mg the arm have to be remember this is not l but this is l over 2 you're going to have l over 2 and cos theta that should give us zero do i have another force i have this force this force and forces here normal and friction they don't do, they don't add on the moment because they don't have the arm remember to have moment you need to have a force and arm they are forces yes but they don't have moments so you don't put them they're going to give us zero anyway so what do we have now okay from this equation we can just um p sine theta and take this to the other side it will it will give us m g uh l over 2 sine theta sine theta and i have this on this side okay but i did get p in a way i remember getting a p from here we said p is equals to fs right and then that means from here i can just say instead of writing p i can write fs at sine theta here right fs we also know fs again static friction static friction is what let me just remove it it's mu s and normal okay we also know normal again okay let me remove i have normal here Normal is equal to mg. Okay, getting more interesting. So this mg is here and it's here. Okay, and I transposed this to the other side and I made a mistake. It was supposed to be cos as it was cos here. I don't know why I changed that. Okay, so now we we here. So s is equal to l over two cos theta. And another mistake that I spot, there should be an L here. Okay, and that L will help me get rid of this L and have a 1 over 2, okay? Because this is an arm. If a, an arm is which was like a sign of the length. Yeah, that's why you don't have an L here. So we don't have this L here. We have 1 instead. Okay, now we're here. That means we don't have this L. We have 1 instead, okay? So here, which is mu s sine theta again and from here i can solve right i can solve for the angle and i can do that by dividing by cos both side if i divide by cos here this cos is going to go away if i divide by cos theta here you'll have tan theta and i have two this side and mu s waiting for me here i can just multiply by 1 over mu s multiply by 1 over mu s and now i have tan theta is equal to 1 over 2 mu s okay even if you had a mu s now you can see that you can just plug in your mu s here and it's going to help you out so i was 1 1 over 2 what was our mu uh coefficient of friction it was given to us just here so it is 0 0.4 so i put 0 0.4 and i remember i have tan theta here i can just go to my calculator find the exact theta that this thing can stay before it sleeps and after punching on my calculator hope i didn't make any mistake uh, you can punch on your side it was one three four uh degrees depending on the number of significant figures they wanted on your problem so this is the answer this is the angle that the leather can handle before it sleeps let me say it is a leather here 
and there was a wall so this angle is here it can go 59.34 um, and if you can go smaller than that maybe try to put your lady somewhere here you have a smaller angle and obviously the mg is going to cause a moment and it's going to rotate so for safety we keep it here 